All right guys, welcome back to another video. Now in this video, I'm going to be going over the coronavirus and how that actually impacts and affects dropshipping. Now on screen, I've actually got two articles that go through and show the impact of the coronavirus on dropshipping and how that affects the packages that you ship. So now the first article is gonna be from cjdropshipping.com. Now you can see that uh, the first line here, it mentions that many companies and factories may have to put off a starting date of normal operation from the Chinese Lunar New Year holiday due to the accelerating speed of the Wuhan coronavirus. So now most of these suppliers that actually do ship out packages in China, um, they have been put on hold until the 10th of February. I'm pretty sure that goes across the board. So most suppliers do ship on the 10th. Um, I do know uh, some suppliers that ship on the 5th or the 8th. That's what I've been told. But for the majority and for the 99% of suppliers, they actually start operations again on the 10th of February. In that time, it is crucial to have excellent customer service so that your customers don't worry about where the packages are and so they don't go through and charge back or file a dispute on PayPal. So make sure that you have excellent customer service. So now if I scroll down to this section here, what impact does the coronavirus bring? It actually explains why there is a delay with the packages being shipped. Starting at 10 o'clock on January 23, Wuhan, central Chinese city and surrounding cities have announced the suspension of urban bus, subway, ferry, and long distance transportation, and temporarily closed airports and train stations, highways, and other exit corridors to prevent the spread of the new coronavirus at Wuhan. So you can see that most of the transportation ways have actually been closed. So that is why there's a delay in your package being shipped. Influenced by this and the continued spread of the Wuhan coronavirus, transportations all around the country are shut down partially or completely, which causes almost all workers and employees in these factories to be delayed. So that is why your package actually cannot be delivered because there is regulations imposed by the government actually stating that these companies and factories cannot ship anything out. So now if I keep on scrolling down on this article, it mentions how does the coronavirus influence dropshipping. So reason number one, factories will not be able to produce products at the expected date. As is known, most suppliers of dropshipping businesses are from China. Caused by the new Wuhan coronavirus, the majority of workers will not be able to come back to supplies factories to start producing. The previous holiday plan allows workers to stay at home until February. According to the current situation, the return date of workers may be delayed. And that delay date that I've heard is actually the 10th of February. Now that date may actually be extended, who knows? That depends on how bad the virus is actually going to get. But at the moment of time, the current start date for most warehouses is going to be on the 10th of February. Now, reason number two, um, products cannot be transported by logistic companies, which is probably the biggest reason as to why your package actually can't be delivered. Only medical staff can be normally transported in such a situation that logistic staff are on holiday and cities transportation is blocked. Without logistic companies, parcels are not able to be shipped out to their destination, even if the suppliers and warehouses have the product in stock. So there's just nothing that the suppliers can do at this moment of time. The best thing you can do now is just push through because the 10th is actually coming up very soon. So the best you can do here is actually push through, make sure you have good customer service and also scale down your ads. Now, if I scroll down, uh, the next topic, which I'm going to be explaining more in the next article is going to be, is there a real risk that the parcels coming from China will cause the transmission of the coronavirus? Now, that's pretty much impossible um, and that cannot happen. But in this article, it mentions Postal parcels can be contaminated if there is direct contact and friction between a sick person and the parcel or contaminated with spray or secretions from an infected person. But the key thing here is the virus cannot live under external conditions outside of living objects for more than a few hours at best before it is destroyed. So it is impossible for the packages that you are shipping to actually carry the coronavirus. Now, let's say that the person who was shipping a package does in fact have the virus and they have contaminated the package, that virus will actually not live from the time it is shipped to the time it gets to the customer. So you guys will be 100% safe. So therefore parcels will not pose a threat to the recipients because they will take weeks and in our case months to arrive. So guys, you do not have to stress about the packages that you are shipping to actually contain the coronavirus. If you have customers that are actually worried about this and who do think that the virus can be contained in the packages that they receive, what you can do is go ahead and send them uh, the next article that I'm going to show you guys right now. So now the next article is, can I get the coronavirus from a package delivered from China? Now, this is probably going to be the best article that you can send to your customers if they are worried about the virus being inside the package. 
So if I scroll down just a little bit, you can see that um, the US health officials said on Monday that there is no evidence to support the transmission of the new coronavirus through imported goods. So again, you do not have to worry about absolutely anything. In general, because of the poor survivability of the coronaviruses on surfaces, there is likely very, very low risk of spread from products or packaging that are shipped over a period of days or weeks at ambient temperatures. Even in the worst case scenario, say sneezing person packed your $700 used Apple iPhone 11, bought on Amazon and shipped to your home by air via United Post Parcel Service or FedEx isn't dangerous. Because our shipping times are generally gonna be longer than Amazon's, there's really no need to worry at all. Now, if I scroll down just a little bit more, it says it typically takes at least three days for a package to get from China to California, according to UPS and FedEx. So the virus wouldn't be able to survive long enough to get you sick. For us, when it comes to shipping with ePacket, um, the packages like generally take between eight to 20 days. So that is almost five times the amount. So it's literally impossible for the person to get sick. And yeah, guys, so these are the two articles that I wanted to show you guys regarding the coronavirus and how that impacts dropshipping. Now, again, guys, if your customers are actually worried about this, then I would go ahead and send them this article. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video on how the coronavirus actually impacts dropshipping. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like on the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.